Hi friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tori and today I wanted to share all of the stamp sets that I have designed and had created because I've, I'm up to quite a few <laughs> and I haven't actually outside of just using them within my setup and process videos, I haven't actually just kind of shared what I've got so far. Now, I don't have all of these currently in stock um, on my Etsy store. So if there's one in here that you go to click the link on and it's not actually in stock, I do plan to continue restocking as long as there's interest in a stamp. So there should be a little notify me link that you'll see if a stamp is not in stock that you can click on and that kind of sends me a notification of how many people are interested in and then when I'm choosing which stamps to restock I go by which one usually has the most notification requests if that makes sense and then if I don't have any that have any notification requests I just kind of go down the list. So we will start with my most popular stamp set which is the My Reading Journal stamp and you can see these are my actual ones that I've kept for myself that I'm using so you can see that this one gets a lot of use from me. It is one of my favorite stamps that I have ever used in my entire life and I have a pretty hefty collection of stamps. So this is the My Reading Journal stamp. The next one that I have is the Numbers and Days stamp and I have used this in a few, maybe like one or two YouTube videos I think. I think in my last bullet journal setup, not the September one, but the August setup, I used this stamp. So it's got all of the long and shortened months, days, uh, double digit days up to 52 for, uh, so you can have 31 days for the month or 52 weeks if you're going by weeks. And then I've got a checkbox down here and then several years and then the long and shortened for forms of the days of the week. And then I have week and weekend here. So there's lots of opportunities for use for this stamp. And this was one that I found, I wasn't really finding what I needed with other companies. So I created it myself. Me personally, I'm a big fan of double digit um, days and not very many companies offer that. I don't know if maybe it's not as popular of a thing, but I love this and it's my favorite font. <laughs> So there's that too. The next one that I have, this one I know is currently out of stock, uh, but I will be restocking it. This is the All the Genres stamp set. This is another reading stamp. And I have stamped all of these out with the exception of this one right here and this right here. That's a stamp from Wintertime Crafts. Um, but all of these stamps in this area are all from this stamp set. I was testing out all of the icons and all of these icons should fit inside this little book. And I do have a like creative video that I wanna do that just outlines what my favorite genres are so far this year. So that's on my list. You should be seeing that from me sometime soon. Um, I just wanna do like a, in my listing, my life journal, I just wanna make a list of my favorite genres and I want to use this stamp set to do it. And there is, I believe, 60 different genres on this list. I wanted to have as many as possible. Even though I don't read that many genres, I wanted this to be as usable as a stamp as possible for anyone. Love this one so much. The next stamp set that I have, this one is available in my Etsy shop. This is the Collage Elements. And obviously this girl sticker is not part of the stamp set, but this is just me kind of playing around with the actual stamp set itself and stamping out all of the stamps to make sure I liked how they were stamping before I listed it. But that's what this one looks like. And I'm obsessed with it. And I've been using it quite a lot since I got it because um, this grid here with a little bit of splatter and the little coffee stains and then just so many of these just do exactly what I need and want them to do. So I've been using this one quite a lot. 
The next one that I have is a stamp set that's probably not super needed by everybody, but it. I have diabetes, so I don't normally see a lot of diabetes or diabetic related stamp sets. So I wanted to create one that way I could use it for just any time I wanted to document my diabetes because I don't feel like I do that enough and it's such a huge part of my everyday life. So I created this little stamp set. The, my most used stamp is this one down here in the corner where it just kind of logs my blood sugar levels and I stamp this in my bullet journal. So there's a lot of things here, like you can document if you're feeling high, feeling low, so high blood sugar, low blood sugar, a couple little like motivational phrases. I can do anything except make insulin. I am more than my diabetes. Nah, my pancreas and I just wanna lay down is something that I chose to add on here because it's something that I say all the time. <laughs> I've got some syringes, uh, insulin vial, current medications, endocrinologist appointments, some little blood sugar level icons, and then low sugar. So there's a lot of stamps on here and I personally think it came out so super great. This one, I think I just sold my last in stock option. Uh, but like I said, I should have a link down below for you to sign up for restocks if, if you're interested in that. The last stamp that I have here is me, the my bookshelfy stamp set this one is currently in stock and this stamp set is intended to help you make a bookshelfy for your reading journal so i've got a few books a nice little window if you wanted to have a little window moment going on um some plants things that you would put on a shelf like a clock some plants the moon fits perfectly inside your window some little file boxes, pictures. This little thing up here is actually a hanging element to put at the top of these two pictures if you wanted them to look like they were hanging on a wall. This one and this one are filler stamps for each of these. And then I've got some additional words that I wanted to add that I didn't have in the My Reading Journal stamp set. So just genres, physical, mixed, audio, digital, fiction, and nonfiction. And then there's a little tiny box a title page, and then shelves. This book right here, I love this book so much. It came out so good. Um, there are little kind of icons uh, that you can stamp into this bubble. These five icons, there's a heart, a sad face. This one for me is like very excited. Uh, this is a like what the heck <laughs> type of icon to me. And this one just means like you don't understand what the author is trying to do at all. So, I mean, obviously they can mean whatever they want to, whatever you want to you, however you want to interpret them. But those are what I was thinking when I was creating them. And yeah, so that's what this one looks like. You can see that I've got lots of pinkish because I used this with some brown stamping ink and then yeah this is another one that I've used quite a bit of and I'm super in love with the way that it came out I'm quite happy with all of these stamps honestly I just got two new stamps in that I'm going to be listing at some point in the month of September I believe uh, so keep your eyes out for that one of them is an alpha stamp and the other one is going to be a Halloween theme stamp for October daily and uh, I've got lots of stickers and stuff that I've created for that as well so I would love to know what your thoughts are on the stamps that I have shared if you have anything that you want to see from me if you're liking my style uh, and you want to see a specific type of stamp um, created by me, let me know down in the comments below. I will link as much of these as I possibly can down in the description box. Sometimes if they're out of stock and I haven't already saved the link, like Etsy won't let me get the link, but I think I have all of them. I will, like I said, try to get everything linked down for you down in the description box. Uh, yeah, like I said, let me know what you think. And if you want to see anything from me in the future, I've got lots of ideas for things that I want to create. For the most part, I've just been creating things that I want because this isn't meant to be like a full time gig for me. It's just me wanting to make stamps that I'm actually going to use because I find myself buying stamp sets for the purpose of only using one stamp out of the stamp set. And I didn't want to keep doing that. So I decided that I would start creating ones that 
were just all encompassing for the things that I felt like I was missing in my creative stash. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, thank you uh, so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.